Hello and good evening. Welcome to worship. So glad that you could join us. Uh, obviously, we were hoping that we were going to be uh, inside uh, and uh, in person for the service, uh, but because of the rise of cases um, in our county, uh, we are uh, suspending all activities, um, inside activities in the church. Uh, worship will move on Sunday mornings to the parking lot at 9 a.m. Uh, and we'll still be live streamed here on Facebook, and we're going to remain uh, Facebook only for Wednesday worship for the time being. So please continue to check the Facebook page and the website for any updates. I've got a couple of quick announcements. Again, if you'd uh, uh, like to support Trinity financially, you can do so by using the forum on the website, trinityworship.com. That's where you get your bulletin for tonight's service. You can also use the Give Plus app or send an offering in the mail. We are thankful for your financial gifts. Uh, we have also made a change to our mission trip meeting. It will not no longer be on October 18th. It will now be on Sunday, November 1st um, at 10.30 a.m. Those are the announcements I have for you for this uh, for this evening. Again, thank you for joining us for worship today. We begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We see in our first hymn, We Are Called. Not that I have already obtained this, or have already reached the goal, 
but I press on to make it my own, because Christ Jesus has made me his own. Beloved, I do not consider what I have made of my own, but this one thing I do, forgiving what lies behind and straining forward to what lies ahead. I press on toward the goal for the heavenly prize, I'm sorry, press on toward the goal for the prize of the heavenly call of God in Christ Jesus. This is the word of the Lord. Grace and peace to you from God our Father and our Lord and Savior Jesus the Christ. Amen. Almost every day I do a workout on my elliptical machine. And before I start the workout, I set some sort of goal. Maybe it's a time. Maybe I want to do 20 minutes or 30 minutes. Maybe it's I want to do certain mileage. Maybe I want to do two miles or two and a half miles or three miles. And the other day I decided to do what's kind of my big goal, and that's 40 minutes on the elliptical, which ends up being most of the time about three and a half miles. And I got on that elliptical, and I was like three minutes in, and I just wanted to like quit. I got to like 10 minutes, I really wanted to quit. I got to like 25 minutes, I got sweat pouring down myself, and I'm thinking to myself, oh, I gotta do another 15 minutes, I barely even made this 25. But it kept going, kept trying, kept pursuing this goal that was out there. You know, Paul, in our reading from Philippians, talks about pressing on towards the goal, the goal of the heavenly call of Jesus Christ. But what's interesting is before Paul talks about that, he lists all these credentials that he had as a Jew. Tribe of Benjamin, a Pharisee, a zeal, persecuting the church. Under the law of blindness, Paul had everything that he could ever want and was esteemed, if you will. But he regarded them all as loss in knowing Christ. And he talks with passion about knowing the righteousness of God in Jesus Christ, knowing the power of the resurrection. And sometimes we can think of our faith journey as what Paul thought of his journey as a Jew. That we're trying to tick off boxes to be blameless, you know? Like, like if it was me, it'd be like, I'm a Lutheran, born of Lutherans, to Lutheran theology a zeal. I could be like that, a pastor of the church for 18 years, a camp counselor, and a, a campus minister before that. Could do all those kinds of things. But our pedigree doesn't matter in the Lord. In the Lord, all that is matters is that we have faith. In Jesus Christ. And we press on in life knowing that sometimes, frankly, our faith isn't great. Sometimes we get on the elliptical of faith and we just are chugging and we're going and it's no problem. Sometimes it feels hard and difficult. We want to quit. We want to give up. But the gospel for us is that we already have that heavenly call of Jesus Christ through baptism. And our God in Jesus loves us and continually calls us, and continually gives us faith. Faith is a gift. And knowing the power of the resurrection of Jesus Christ is a gift of faith that we were given in the waters of baptism. As we go in life, there are times, frankly, when life is really hard and faith is really hard. And there are some times in life when we want to work really hard to justify ourselves. And somehow we want to prove to ourselves and to others, and especially to God, that we are worthy of this grace and mercy we receive in Jesus Christ. But here's the thing. God has already decided that you are worthy. That is why God sent his son to die on the cross for you. That is why Jesus defeated sin and death for you. And that is why Jesus has risen from the grave to give you eternal life. We press on in life to that call we receive in Jesus. And one day we'll receive that call at the end of our life to join our Savior in heaven. Until that time, we keep moving forward. We keep trying our best. And we keep remembering that we've been given faith and hope and love in Jesus. For that, we can say thanks be to God. Amen. We are church together, and so let us together confess our faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. 
I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray for the whole people of God in Christ Jesus and for all people according to, your, to their needs. Holy and loving God, we give you thanks for the gift of faith. Help us to press on in life and faith, knowing that you are with us, that you have saved and redeemed us through your Son, Jesus Christ. In our times of doubt and of failure, we want to give up. Be with us and see us through. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Loving God, we pray for all those who are sick and ill this day. We pray for all those affected by the coronavirus, from our president to people in our community, our area, and our families who have been affected. We ask you to be with those recovering from surgery, those who are hospitalized, those battling cancer, addiction, and depression. Give healing and hope to all who need it. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Loving God, send your comfort and grace to all those who are filled with anxiety and fear. Remind them at uncertain times that you are there for them. Be with those especially who put their life on the line every day. Our first responders, our nurses, our doctors, our teachers. All those on the front lines in such difficult times. Watch over them and be with them and be with all of us that we may trust in you. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Loving God, comfort those who grieve the loss of loved ones. We especially lift up the families of the 210,000 who have died of the coronavirus. We ask, Lord, that you would be with anyone who grieves the loss of someone so precious and dear to them. May they trust in you and in the promise of the resurrection. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Loving God, continue to bless and be with our congregation as we serve our neighbor and proclaim your name. Bless our partner organizations and remind us that the church is a gathering of people no matter how we gather, and that together we can be a, we can be a light to the nations. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Into your hands, gracious God, we commend all for whom we pray, trusting in your mercy through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And also, also with you. you. Share a sign of peace in the comments or wherever way you are. And again, we give thanks for your offerings and your financial gifts. If you send an offering in the mail, PO Box 247, Morrisville, Wisconsin, 54725. Download the Give Plus app or go to the website and use the forum on the front page. When you're on the website, you'll see all of them. You'll see our TLC sing-alongs. You'll see worship services and bulletins, as well as all of our Sunday school videos. We, can, we continue our service with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. And now receive God's blessing. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord's face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. We conclude with God, whose almighty word.
Thank you.